The Super Mario Brothers Movie, presented to you by the movie Junkie. Bowser attacks the Penguin Kingdom and imprisons them. He finds the Golden Star from a power-up and keeps it. In the real world, Mario and his brother Luigi filmed an ad for their plumbing business. They had started and failed at a lot of businesses, and everyone around them was doubtful of their abilities. While Carlos was mocking them, they received a call for a plumbing job. This was their first client and they wanted to make a good impression. They go to the house, all they had to do was fix a small leak. One thing led to another, involving an angry dog, and the whole bathroom was destroyed. Their first job was a flop. They got home disappointed. Mario left the dinner table, he was tired of all the taunts. Luigi brought dinner to his brother, while they were talking, a major blockage was reported in Brooklyn. Mario considered this an opportunity to save the city and restore their reputation. They got to the site, Mario and Luigi went down the main pipeline to tighten the plumbing. There was a blast, they opened a portal to another dimension. Both the brothers got sucked into the vacuum. Mario landed in Mushroom World, while his brother was in Bowser Land. Mario was surprised by this animated world. He met Toad, who introduced him to the area. Luigi on the other hand, was stuck in Bowserland, it was dark and scary with turtle skeletons everywhere. They came after Luigi and locked him up, along with the other penguins and the golden star. Mario wanted to get back to his brother, he asked Toad for help. Mario asked him to take him to the princess. He went to the castle and searched for her, while Toad distracted the guards. There was a meeting going on, all the chiefs had gathered to discuss their strategy to save Mushroom Land from Bowser, who was already conquering kingdoms and was on his way. The Princess Peach was also worried about this too, she decided to go to Kong and ask for his help. Bowser was very powerful and they could not defeat him alone. She bumped into Mario. He told her about his journey, he must save his brother from Bowser. Both of them decided to go to Donkey Kong together, but first, Mario needed training. Princess Peach and Mario spent a lot of time training. Although Mario lacked physical ability, Peach saw that he was determined and brave. She taught him how power-ups work as well. Bowser was in love with Peach and wanted to marry her. He was ready to give up all the destruction if she agreed. When Peach was a baby, she had landed in Mushroom Land where everyone took care of her and after she grew up, they made her their princess. Now she protected her kingdom. She was curious about the world Mario was from. Both of them got to Kong Kingdom and they were taken to the king. Peach told him that Bowser was on his way and if Kong refused to help her, Kong Kingdom would be his next target after Mushroom Land. The king agreed to help but on one condition. Mario had to defeat his son Donkey Kong. The entire kingdom gathered to see Mario and Kong fight. Mario was a lot smaller than Kong, he was constantly getting beat up by him. There were a lot of power-ups but despite them, Mario could not defeat him. At the end, Mario used a power-up and became a cat. He got super speed which exhausted Kong, causing Mario to win the fight. The king had to hold up his part of the promise. Donkey Kong, Mario, Princess, Toad, and the entire Kong army were on their way to defeat Bowser. They faced the army on the Rainbow Road. After an intense fighting sequence, the enemy captured Kong's men. Mario and Kong had fallen into the water below. Princess rushed back to her kingdom, she told everyone to take cover and hide. Bowser arrived and proposed to the princess. She refused to marry him. He gave her a deal, if she married him, he would let her people live. Peach had no choice but to agree. Meanwhile, Kong and Mario were stuck inside a whale's belly. Both were fighting and blaming each other. Kong started punching in anger, this caused the whale to burp. They found an old engine, started it, and burst out of the whale. Peach was dressed in white, she was very sad. Toad handed her a bouquet, and when she came to the altar, she powered up into an ice princess. She froze Bowser and the machine that he was using to hang all the prisoners above lava. She was fighting Bowser's army. Donkey Kong and Mario had also arrived and were helping her. 
Mario saved Luigi as well. Bowser released his nuclear weapon in the direction of the mushroom land. Mario went after it. He leads the weapon toward the pipe that was attached to another dimension. There was a blast, which destroyed their entire world, causing everyone to enter Mario's world, Brooklyn. Bowser was still after them, Mario and Luigi saved themselves. Peach pointed towards the golden star, when they powdered up they got superpowers. The brothers defeated Bowser and his entire army, and in the end, mini-sized him. Mario and Luigi had saved Brooklyn, everyone cheered for them. They went back to their plumbing business, this time, they operated in Mushroom Land.